It all began when I was little. My dad gave me my first Mac, a Quadra 630. He was so proud to have an Apple household and that his son had his own computer. I remember the tan plastic, the little rainbow apple. I would always make drawings on it. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I remember how my dad seemed to know the answer to every tech question I asked him. What a master he was. And how every time he'd change a hard drive, he'd always seem to make me watch. This was before rivalries, before iPods, before CDs. It was the age of Clarisworks, OS 6, and floppy disks. Then one day, in third grade, things changed. I overheard the principal talking about how her computer had broken and that she'd have to purchase a new one. I asked her if I could take a look at it. How absurd it must have seemed, giving it to a little kid. But seeing as how she had nothing to lose, she let me. It was absolute magic. I fixed it. Suddenly, I got curious. I wanted to understand it, all of it. I became an Apple fan and even more, a Steve fan. I learned about hard drives and processors. I learned about memory and began to follow Apple's every move. Once Apple opened up their stores, it was near impossible to pull me out of one. In middle school, I finally got enough to buy my own iPod, a silver mini. I remember looking up at the Apple Store employee the whole time as if there was some kind of superhero or celebrity. Nobody else in my family, not even my father, saw the magic in Apple like I did. In high school, my love affair with Apple continued. I got certified in Final Cut Pro, and then a few others as well. And then, I got hired. I'll miss you, Steve. You created so much of what I love that in a sense, I feel this loss personally. I don't know what the future holds for Apple. I, I don't even know what the future holds for me. All I do know is that my love of Apple lies beyond its products and beyond Steve, but in the family and the culture he created. I'm proud to be a part of Apple now more than ever, and I'm holding on to this ride for as long as I can. Thank you, Steve, for everything you've done for Apple and for me.